It's this. Choose. I choose stabs. I choose stabs. Prankster, did you hear about the silent who is allergic to knives? She broke out in shivs. 34 something. So, many a time I have heard the question posed to me, what happen if you have too many innate cards? And the answer is you get to start with all of them. Every single backstab always starts in our opening hand. Um, and if we get even more of them, they're going to go on top of the draw pile at the start of combat. So we just always start with an opening hand of nine backstab. And we'll start drawing the rest of it on turn two or whatever. But I want to be part of that, that small deck. I think an acrobatics is a really good idea. Kind of build some kind of infinite discard behind it. Hmm. I'll take your curse. <laughs> I was like, do we ever see that card? I mean, we're going to against Hexagos. Uh, I'm just going to take 23 damage because I don't think I'm going to need this health, this act. I suppose I should go to the store, so I can at least look at what the offerings are. Don't know if I'll remove the doubt. Actually, I don't even think i go to that store. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take more money. Go to our first shop with tons of cash. The tenth backstab. Welcome. Welcome to Backstab. Guess I'll start upgrading them. Oh good, we do have a way to kill it. Looks like that's about our limit. Slightly over 100 damage. Okay, meal ticket will heal us when we go to stores. That'll be sometime in Act 2, probably. We actually have to think about how we're going to beat Hexaghost, I suppose. Hmm. Because Neutralized Sucker Punch ain't going to do it on its own. Hey there, Papa. Potion would definitely help. Yeah, heal hook would be an interesting way to get there. We don't we're not looking at a heal hook now though. None of these cards are gonna help. Just looking at my path, maybe rest sites are a bit of a problem. I should at the minimum upgrade the permanent cards to give us a, an edge against Hexaghost. Rather than the backstabs. But let's go for two more elites. Two more relics will help. What happened to the storm start? Act two happened to the storm start, unfortunately. It didn't have any block, and it couldn't kill things on turn one, and that's not good enough in act two. Hey, speaking of turn one, this is helpful for any combat that gets past turn one. Boot thingy. There will definitely be a few things that survive the turn one onslaught from us. example, these three. Okay, Hourglass definitely helps. Three more damage per turn to all enemies. Calculated Gamble. Interesting. That can definitely be part of our post- Backstabbing deck. Yeah, exactly. Turns Reflex into a, a solution for us. Uh, I'm definitely thinking about a Reflex or even a Tactician as a way to to do stuff. So I really do like that. 
I guess Quick Slash could also probably finish Hexaghost for us. So that we have an actual Hexaghost answer. But I think I've got two more reasonable card rewards that I can look at. Oh, and we get a shop. Very nice. Okay. I think we'll be just fine. Is that an Eviscerate over there? Wait a minute. Abacus? Hello. Whenever you shuffle your draw pile, gain six block. How cool. All right. Yes, we're going to be doing that an awful lot with Acrobatics Calculated Gamble uh, once we play all of our backstabs. I love it. Really like that. Probably want to remove the doubt. I am going to buy Abacus here. That's actually all the block we'll ever need now. Truly. Do I want the Eviscerate? Yes. But I don't think I'm going to buy either of these relics. We just buy Eviscerate and we remove Doubt. I could theoretically add Terror, but I don't feel the need to pay 81 gold for Terror. It's really not going to matter for a very, very long time. But Eviscerate is going to be a very good zero-cost attack for us, and it's it's a high enough damage per card played to beat something like Time Eater, which is going to be a potential problem for us. Good. So now we want to upgrade our Calculated Gamble... Probably the Acrobatics, too. Need to be make sure I can draw through all the burns we're going to get. Assuming we even get far enough into that fight that there are burns. Hmm. Sleepy Egg Boy. Okay, now we're immune to being weak, although most of our damage is turn one. Skate plan is kind of cute. But is it really? It doesn't feel necessary, mostly. Because we have De Abacus for block. <laughs> we're still in the easy pool, apparently. Amazing. Sneaky Strike is worse than Eviscerate. Don't need any powers. Onward. Our deck is perfect. I like that the upgraded the upgraded backstab gives you a highlight for how the innate cards work. It's just at a random position each time. So the innate cards are done in, in random order. This card pile is empty. So is this two? Yes, that's two abacuses. Two abacoids, if you will. Oh, and that can happen. Hmm. Interesting. So what's the order here, then? Straws four? Not guaranteed to get the acrobatics back. And I think I'd like to let the Ascender's Bane go here, so let's get rid of that. We need either a second acrobatics or a second calculated gimbal. That's what I'm realizing. Yeah, because this will happen. However, we're still doing enough damage that in this fight we're fine. Even if we only play Eviscerate once per turn. That's still plenty. GG. There's the actual finale. That is better than the Eviscerate is, by quite a lot. I think. Or burst? Question mark? 
Question mark indeed. I guess burst acrobatics technically guarantees that I redraw the acrobatics. But feels easier to just take a uh, grand finale here. And do some really big damage with that. Once we reach turn two. Whenever that is. Could transform and upgrade three cards, amusingly, or we can go for more energy. Hovering Kite would certainly be more energy, right? First time we discard a card each turn. Uh, otherwise, I'm transforming Neutralize Sucker Punch Survivor into who knows what. What do I really even need this energy for, you know? Give me the transforms. What do you got? Aha! We got another innate card. Actually, we got two more innate cards. This is good? Question mark. It's all innate to me. Certainly don't mind an after image. One block whenever you play a card. Bleeds is something. Tools of the trade is something. It's something, all right. I have no idea if I should be visiting events or uh, combats. Greetings, bird nerds. Prepare to be destroyed. Also, I'd like to know that we got three powers, so we actually only have four cards that don't exhaust now. Acrobatics, Calculated Gamble, Eviscerate, and Grand Finale. It's pretty cool. Blue's got some utility. I honestly feel like we're okay skipping for a while. Would strongly prefer to find Reflex, or Backflip, or even, uh, what's it called? Draw cards until your hand is full, or until you have six cards in your hands. Scrawl Minus. Expertise, that's the one. Get like upgrades off of events, transforms. I'll take combats for now. But less backstabs means I can't kill this guy on turn one. Oh, wait, yes, I can. All right. All is well. None of those. The strength potion's nice. We really do want that explosive potion because it just gives us just enough damage to kill the slavers. I guess I won't keep that strength potion. Who needs it? And then we always draw the two remaining backstabs as the next cards. Always. All right, you're about to put a thing into my draw pile. Rude. Oh. No thanks. And we'll do more combats. Only choke could be an eight. <laughs> hmm. Is it prepared? Does that fit the the combo that we need? 
Paired Plus can redraw our acrobatics, right? Of the other things here, not a whole lot I like. Could take Trip for Vulnerable, but it's not the greatest way to get Vulnerable. Definitely happy with the card removal here. And uh, I think it would indeed be our Infinite Blades. The After Image is genuinely helpful, but the Infinite Blades is not. Hey there, Z-Smurf. We did indeed. This is a seeded run. Check out the exclamation point seeds command for lots of seeds just like this one involving Pandora's box. Get ye gone. Feels ridiculous to pay money for a... I'm going to that other store, right? I'm going to fight this burning elite. Feels ridiculous to pay for prepared. And yet here we are. I understand. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Greetings, max health. Gr oh, max health gram leader. That's more health than I can do damage, potentially. Question mark. He's a big boy. Hey there, Faley. I don't know. What do you call a logical fallacy that results in girls loving girls? Uh, the prepared won't be guaranteed to uh, draw until we upgrade. Ah. But I got it to work. Sapism. I think I'm missing the fallacy part of that pun. Sophism, got it. Thank you. I don't want to remove any of these cards now. Could take Clockwork Souvenir. That could block um, the Vuln from Heart, which could be very helpful. I'll take that. All right, you first, bud. Don't need a second to eviscerate, nor do we want to concentrate. Could go to yet another store, but we'll avoid that. Tiny chest. Rather take the sapphire key, usually. It's very satisfying. Oh man, what do I do? Do we take backstab number 11 or do we take after image number two? I suppose after image number two really helps with um, countering beat of death. We already have a counter to that in the abacus, probably. But the after image is just so dang fitting, right? If I'm not properly memeing on my P box starts, then what am I even here for? We gotta have the innate deck. Ten backstabs and two after images. I'm in. Maybe we can even make it three after images. Would I buy unceasing to would I buy unceasing top? Probably. Could also potentially buy backflip. 
aka just take regular backflip. I'm not gonna take this one. The stream's title, uh, Recreation, the stream title might seem obvious and apparent to you, but uh, keep in mind that less than half of all viewers are joining us from desktop clients, and in many cases, um, such as with mobile clients or if they're watching through a console, the stream title might be tucked away in the interface in a way they cannot readily see. Not everybody does read the stream title because not everybody is presented with the stream title. My guess would be maybe like 30 to 50% of viewers. Definitely not everybody. Okay, this blur looks a little bit more interesting if you want to try to go the blocking route. Beerman says, mobile and Apple TV primary watcher here. Yeah, I, my guess is on Apple TV, the stream title is uh, quite hard to find. That'd be my bet. Although I'm not an Apple person myself. Do I take this blur? That does sound kind of fun. Let's do it. Give me a blur. And definitely give me a calculated gimbal. That is a very potent thing with 10 and 8 cards. Well, let's take one event here. This could be Holoceum. It could also be Apparitions. I don't think I want these. Although these are also theoretically helpful. I'm not convinced. Am I a pear person? I think pears are okay. Am I pear shaped? Probably more than I'd care to admit. Am I a pear wearing a human skin suit? No. But I am definitely a fan of max HP. Let's see, I can kill front and back. There's no reason to use any... Wait, can I kill front and back? Yes, because one... Because pen nib. Maybe I was actually meant to kill this guy first, but... Eh. Get in there, the Abacus. This fool cannot stop me. Sneko Skull is not going to do a whole lot for us. Terror, on the other hand, might by making our finales do more damage, although realistically we're just going to play finale multiple times per turn. I don't think we need it. Odd. Now that's a weird feeling. Terror feels unnecessary. Even against Time Eater. Did you hear about the apple who committed a crime? He was judged by a jury of his pairs. The Nib is ready. Help! Hmm. This almost worked. This turn, that is, not the pun. The pun did work. More after images. Sure.
35. Like it never even happened. GG. Look at that money. Wraith form, who needs it? Where we're going, we don't need Wraith form. Or malaise, or tools of the trade. I want to keep this deck nice and pure. Who needs it? Cards are all theoretically things that can be used for defense, but when the deck has as perfect a plan as it has already, uh, you really can't improve on it in this fashion. <laughs> Unironically tiny house? Question mark? Sneko kind of ruins me. Choker kind of ruins me. So... Tiny house here to say, guess what? I don't kill your run. And that's a cool thing. But man, yeah, both of these would be uh, pretty oof. Starting each combat confused, we, would, we wouldn't draw any more cards on turn one. We would just draw the same ten, but they'd be random cost instead of zero cost. And Choker would only let me play six of the backstabs on turn one, let alone anything we want to do on turn two. So, yeah, welcome, Tiny House. We get the prepared upgraded, which I really wanted, truthfully. So, good job, Tiny House. 63 gold. Thanks to the power of the Golden Idol. Don't forget, Golden Idol does boost money from Tiny House, even though it says enemies. Obviously, the conclusion, Tiny House is an enemy. It is a boss relic. Maybe Tiny House is a boss. And reflex off the Tiny House. You, you gotta love to see it. Welcome, Tiny House. Hey, hey, everyone. Did you know that you can now support me directly on YouTube by getting a channel membership? For as low as five bucks a month, you'll get all access to perks like custom badges and emojis to use in comments and discounts on the merch store, all while helping support me and this channel to do what I love every day. Just click the join button below to get started. Now back to the video. Welcome. What a boss relic that was. Incredible. Incredible. And I can go to two shops. Uh, no, one shop. Yes, two shops and three elites. Uh, do I value upgrades at this time? Not really. Man, what a great tiny house. Not quite kill them. Oh, that's only three, that's right. I've made an oof. Okay, that's what the gambler's brew is for. I suppose, but I am saddened by this turn of events. There we go. Deck already has enough backstabs. Ten feels like the perfect number. It does say an eight on it, right? What about twelve backstabs? They want to see more backstabs? They're going to get more backstabs. Allow the backstabbing to begin. Medical Kid is here to allow me to play status cards. White Bee Statue could always give us a potion reward after combat. 
What would this deck want to remove? We already took out the Sucker Punch and the Neutralize. I guess we can remove Eviscerate at this point. That's pretty bold, having Grand Finale be the only real damage card. That is a bold choice. I like it. Finesse could also help a little bit, but without any... I guess we do have a little bit of Dexterity with the Dex Potion. I know, Sarah Temio, if you have more than 10 and 8 cards, you'll draw them as normal at the start of your next turn. So, if, if you have 16 and 8 cards, you draw 10 of them on turn 1, 5 of them on turn 2, 1 of them on turn 3. I'm picturing Medical Kit more for uh, Spire Spear and Shield, and yeah, Nemesis. Also particularly scary with the... Of my jobs. Already no Dex Potion. Give me a Pantograph. Heal 25 of the sort of boss fights. Feels pretty alright. Another chance of terror here. Feels like a no thanks to me. Transient. I should be able to kill Transient. At least that's my hope. I do have two attack potions to aid. Right. Oh, there we go. Finale, gamble, draw four, draw two, discard these two, finale, draw lots of cards. Grand finale, draw four, we're done. Now we should be properly infinite on this turn with the Cinder's Bane gone, I believe. Unless I'm missing something really basic. I should be able to finale prepared reflex. No. Yeah, we need the Reflex to be upgraded. That's right. That's what we're missing here. Because currently it's not white. Yeah, because we have to discard two for prepared. And prepared also discards itself, so three cards go into the discard pile, then I only draw two. We need the reflex to be upgraded. But what if we just... Uh, Finale Gamble does... Oh no, that's what we needed, yeah, okay. Not prepared, it's just Gamble. This is the way. And this works because we essentially queue up a draw six, and there's only six cards of the deck, so it always redraws everything. That's right, because because Gamble is discarding Reflex in a way that also draws a card, so you're essentially getting three out of the Reflex draw. 
And one out of every other card in our hands. That's why it works. Calculated Gamble is a very, very busted card. And with the Pendant Finisher, too. GG. Speaking of Finisher, this is a real one. Not that we need it. That's why we bought a medical kit. Mr. Nem E. Sis. With his big old yikes. Of an attack. Play these for after image block, which is quite nice. Looks like we're full blocking now. Okay, not too bad. Finisher blues. Still not needed, though. We have cow. We have a red, red cow, red key. Red intents on our enemies. Another chance at Envenom with a Sneko Skull. Doesn't feel particularly necessary. Backflip. Maybe? Yeah, imagine not wanting an upgraded Piercing Whale. Yet here we are. One whale might be okay, and we actually have no artifact removal otherwise. So it really is only one use at a whale, and no use is in spear and shield. I think I think I might take the backflip if anything. Look it up. Ah, there we go. Problems solved. With our incensed burner. Extra backstabs, why? Empty potion belt. Always a weird feeling. But we've got room to uh, to fill it with another shop coming up where we can potentially buy some new stuff. Spiker detected. Even worse, they're attacking me on turn one. How dare they.
Yeah, that turn two is super spooky every time. The good news is that I can pretty reliably kill uh, Spire's shield on turn one, I believe, with all of our backstabbing. Maybe not reliably. Might be the wrong word. Thanks to all that. Backstabber. This turn two's gonna get me. It'll be the end of me. terrified. Don't need the block from dodge and roll. Remove one backstab. Now that right there is heresy. How about add a bag of marbles? Make enemies vulnerable on turn one, although that notably doesn't work on most of the things we're going to try to stab. From here on out. <laughs> Toolbox is oddly bad because the card goes to the discard pile. There's no room in hand for this thing, I think. Or maybe it just takes up one of our draws. Either way, not so good. How about a swift potion? Just draw three sounds very, very helpful. And an only but a goodie for not Jose. Your username reminded me of this, so I had to uh, I had to dredge it up. A piece of string walks you into a bar. Bartender says, "Sorry, mate, we don't serve pieces of string in here. Get lost." Piece of string walks out the door, and a sudden thought strikes him. He ties himself back in a, up into a knot, goes back in the bar. Bartender says, "Hey, aren't you that piece of string be from before?" And the string says, "No." I'm afraid not. No refunds. I think I have to take this bag of marbles. It's too good. It's too fun. Welcome to the deck. <laughs> no, I am not. Finally a nice easy elite for us. We did get to fight all three of them, the Giant Head, the Repto, and the Nemesis. And this is what our turn two draw could look like, but usually doesn't. The intangible turn one for Donu and Deka, that sounds decent. Rather have it for turn two, but I guess I can set it to any value, huh? And yes, for those wondering, we do just go infinite from here. With the uh, Calculated Gamble and the Grand Finale, as long as we can just play those cards over and over again. So what I'm going to do here is set Incense Burner to 4. We don't 
need any of that. Because now we have our reflex upgraded. And it's silly time. Uh, we actually want to kill Decca first, because Decca adds days to our deck. To our Decca. That we don't want to deal with. And this is why I put the intangible on turn two and not on turn one. This right here. That would have been a pretty painful turn otherwise. We're there. Could do the same thing and uh, set up incense for turn two, and I think I will one more time. Also play these, that's right. GG. Who's next? Alert Bert. Gonna put us in the dirt. You take a little bit of damage here, since we didn't get both after images on turn one. Again, we're just waiting for Instance Murder to pour. Ideally, also Pen Nib to 9. But that truthfully doesn't matter that much. It's not, not going to get to 9 either. It'll be on 0. Okay. GG. 
Two thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread could be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all this backstabbing? You prepare your knives and deal 2869. What a score. It's almost like perfecting every fight. Gets you good score points. Almost. Good job, Finale. After image number three, my only regret is that I cannot make it innate, but I will take it. It's just good. <laughs> Onwards. Okay. Lucky that Spire Shield is not attacking, or are we? How much damage can I do to Spire Shield this turn? Not quite enough. I'd be tempted here to use the Swift Potion, which is guaranteed to draw two backstabs. Uh, actually, guaranteed to draw three backstabs. And finish off the shield here. But I'll probably do that against the heart instead. Since we're intangible next turn anyway. I really don't care that much. After all, the hourglass will finish this nerd. Get him. Infinite? I don't think so, right? With one card missing. Oh, yes, no. We're good. Okay. Yes, it is. But again, we want Incense Burner on, too. Not a difficult feat to accomplish here. We do not want it on two, that's right, we want it on four. If I said two, I was lying. We want it on turn two, that's right. That is the correct number. Bottle Lightning, that makes another innate card for us. What do we bottle? There's also a Tactician here, although the Tactician is not strictly required. Tactician would allow me to play Blur as part of the infinite combo. So I guess the Tactician allows us to go to 999 block if we want. I think we can already do that, though. We can already do that. But I could also go to 999 stacks of blur, which is uh, <laughs> probably not necessary. Bottle acrobatics. Oh, of course. Actually, that is the correct, correct choice. Yes, bottle the acrobatics. I thought it might be calculated gamble, but we don't want to gamble away the backstabs. We want to draw, just draw more. Do Blur Stacks cap at 999? And they should, but there are a few things the devs forgot to cap, and maybe Blur is one of them. I'm just going to go ahead and say that I don't intend to find out. <laughs> I'll pass on that opportunity. <laughs> no. Please, no. You want me to gamble 999 times? I guess it won't actually take that long. Alright, let's do it. You asked for this, Jet. There's the Envenom. Although... 
Oh, that's fine, right? Only plans. Doesn't seem like it matters that much. Yeah, I'll take this in Venom. That's cute. Full damage cap on turn one. Might of energy. Call that turn there. We're intangible during this turn, which is very important because yikes otherwise. Can I just play the after image? It's a pretty sad turn overall. that exhaust. Here we go. I believe we have now achieved the status. So we can go blur calculated gamble forever. And now the question is, how many times will blur, blur stack? It's gonna take me a while if you really want me to go to 999. I'm just gonna let you all know. But the animation of all these card drawing. Okay, maybe about six seconds per play. Six seconds times 1,000. 6,000 seconds. It's more than an hour. I don't think I'm willing to do that. That's going to be too long. It's the calculated gamble is the slow part here. Right? It, the fact that that, uh, that does what it does, I think is ultimately a pretty big problem. But we will go to 999 block. I could maybe do, like, prepared, but then I have to click the cards. Oh, that's... No, that's not faster at all, because because of the delay, it's Reflex. It's Reflex's fault. Look at that. Look how long that takes. Come on, Reflex. Get it together. This way I won't be frail, at least. He's pretty beautiful. I want 
the pendant finish, they can have a pendant finish. Could definitely make that happen. Fair loot, thank you so much for 19 months of prime support. Almost there, chat. What's Epic is at? 1,776. Go USA. Apparently. That's the freedom number. Skyfish, thank you so much for the 16 months. And now let's finale this nerd to death. GG. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.